hi guys it's judy and welcome to a new video so today i have a huge book haul for you guys haven't done a book haul for a little while so i'm really excited to share all of the books with you so you can probably see a big stack here now this is actually two huge stacks of manga that i have hauled recently which will be coming in a separate video so if you do want to see all of the manga i have recently acquired then make sure you keep an eye out for that video but i'm just going to talk about all the books that i've bought in this one and yeah like i said i'm super excited i love buying books it makes me happy i'm also a bookseller so i get sent a lot of books by publishers which i'm very very grateful for i'm very very lucky to receive i'm very lucky to receive some books from you guys and for my birthday and obviously i've just treated myself to books generally so yes please don't worry i'm very happy with all of these books that I've hauled, spending my money on books, receiving books, and I will read them at some point. It's fine. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited to share them with you guys. I love doing hauls because I feel like it's a really good way for you to find new books you might have heard of before and to just see them in a video. And yeah, I just really like book hauls. So here we are. So I did quickly count them and I'm pretty sure I have over 50 books to talk to you guys about. However, there will be some books I'm probably missing that are on my shelves that I'm not gonna include in this because I simply, cannot be bothered to go through my shelves and pull them all off but yes let's just get straight in to the book haul so i'm not going to go in any particular order i'm literally just going to grab them from this big trolley i have next to me and go through them and i'm going to keep it quick and brief because i don't want this to be super long um so the first book is actually a book i got today and that is the fourth wing by rebecca yaros i heard about this book a while ago and i was really intrigued by it because I heard that it was to do with dragons. And one of my top books of 2022 actually was a book regarding dragons, which was Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. Absolutely adored that book, one of my favorite fantasy romances ever. So as soon as I heard of this one, it instantly reminded me of that book. And I will take any book I can get that is similar to Fear the Flames. So this one I knew I had to have, and I have seen so many good reviews for this book, literally everywhere. And I'm so happy and I just need more fancy romance in my life. I will never say no to more fancy romance. So I did actually pick this up today. I don't know the actual plot of this book, if I'm being honest. I literally just bought it because it reminded me of Fear the Flames. And from what I vaguely know, I think we follow this girl who's like, I think she's 20 something, which I really like because a lot of fantasy books that I read and like love, so like Throne of Glass and stuff, are like you know, they're teens or like they're really young. But I like that this is a 20 something year old. And um, basically she, I think is trying to, train to become like a dragon rider or something there's also romance and lots of other things happening here and yeah that's pretty much all i know and that's all i need to know if there's dragons and there's romance i am going to be there i'm going to be reading it i will be devouring this book i am so freaking excited okay so this next book is also a book i bought today and i heard about this book ages ago when it took like book talk and bookstagram by storm people were ordering in like crazy at the books that i work at and I just never really looked into what it was about. I've obviously seen and heard of it everywhere, but I was kind of like, oh, it's going to be one of those like overhyped books that I'm not going to like. But I'm currently reading a book that is like a romance and it has like an emotional and dark kind of like theme to it as well. And this book just seems to have that same feeling. And basically I served one of you guys today at my work, which was so fun. So if you happen to be watching this video, then I am talking about you and you are the reason that I decided to buy this book today because originally you brought this book to the counter and then you decided not to buy it and I thought hmm I'm gonna read the back of that book because I can't remember what it's about and it made me want to read it and I decided to buy it so thank you very much to that person I didn't get your name um but if you're watching this let me know and yeah you inspired me to buy this book that is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan so yeah this one i've heard this is quite a tearjerker as well and yeah on the back it says a gorgeous tale of survival and the healing power of love so yeah i have no idea what else this is about but i know it's like a small town romance and i think it does have like a kind of an emotional storyline so i'm really excited to read it i just seem to be really gravitating towards romance books at the moment especially those really like deep impacting kind of romance books that aren't just like light and fluffy and fun they have that like something more to them and something maybe a bit darker so i'm really really excited to give this one a read obviously because it is very very hyped as well um so if you have read this please do let me know your thoughts is it a good romance or not very excited to have bought this because i kind of impulse bought this and i always have a good feeling about books like that like they always turn out to be such good reads so i'm really really excited about this one so this next one i recently got from fairly this is the fairly exclusive edition of the dead romantics by ashley poston so again i haven't read this one 
and this one I believe is a romance between a writer and a ghost. Now I don't really know how that's gonna go or how it's gonna work out and I don't really know much more than that but anything that's slightly spooky or ghosty and has romance in I instantly need that book in my life so I am really excited to read this one and I probably will save it towards autumn. I feel like this will be nice to read then. So yeah, this is the Fellow Exclusive Edition. It has these stunning spread edges. And then it does have a signature from the author and some end pages. And we do also have some art under the dust jacket. So yeah, this is a gorgeous edition. And I'm really, really excited to give this a read at some point. I've heard that Ashley Poston is a really, really good romance writer. So let's hope that that's true. And that I do really, really enjoy this. So... Thank you very much Fairly, for providing us with this stunning edition. Okay, so next we have this one, which I recently got, I think, in an Illumicrate box. This is a sci-fi, like, space opera kind of thing. It's called Some Desperate Glory by Emily Tesh, and that's all I know about it. Um, it has these stunning sprayed edges, though. I love the edges. It has really nice end pages. It is also signed by the author. And I think it had art under the dust jacket. Yeah, so it has, like, a quote like this under the dust jacket, which I thought was really, really cute. But, yeah, it basically says it's a thrillingly told science fiction tale about the wreckage of war the family you find and who you must become when every choice is stripped from you so yeah and this is also a standalone so i don't read a lot of sci-fi or space opera books but hopefully i will get to this one day um but i'm just obsessed with the sprayed edges to be honest that's my favorite thing about this book so next we have one of my most anticipated releases of the year and i actually have two copies of this because i was sent a proof as well but i didn't get around to reading which is really bad considering it is an anticipated release but it happens um, and that is happy place by emily henry so i have the paperback proof and then i have this stunning waterstones exclusive edition so this has the ombre sprayed edge it's also signed by emily henry as well and yeah i'm very very excited for this one because i read book lovers last year it was my first emily henry and i really really enjoyed it i haven't read her other two novels yet and i definitely do plan to probably this summer along with this one because this is definitely giving summer vibes so yeah i'm very very excited for this i am saving it for the summertime and i believe this is second chance romance as well so hopefully it is really good and definitely lives up to the hype i've been seeing this everywhere and everyone seems to love it so yeah i'm very very excited to read this okay this next one i was literally so happy when i received this my lovely patron vanessa very kindly got me this for my birthday and i honestly it's just so beautiful that is blood mercy by vela roth or vela roth and just like can we take a moment for this book cover like isn't this just stunning the color palette the art style i mean this vampire guy like it is so beautiful like honestly i am just obsessed with this cover itself i would happily just stare at this all day um this is a vampire fantasy romance series and this is the first one and i've had my eye on this for so long like i have been dying to get this book and when vanessa got me it i was so happy and the fact that it was also like gifted by vanessa just makes it all the more special i cannot wait to read this i'm hoping to get the other books in the series and then binge read them all and i may do like a reading vlog for it because i just feel like that would be so fun but here it says one human one immortal will their alliance save the kingdom or will their forbidden love be a death sentence you all know I love forbidden love. Forbidden romance, enemies to lovers, rivals to lovers, all the superior tropes. And I just, I love it every single time. I love it so much. And basically we follow this mortal girl and she seeks out the help of like this guy who's like a kind of vampire with magic kind of thing. Um, and she knows the true enemy is her human father apparently. And she wants his help, I assume, to help save her kingdom or something along those lines i don't even know and it also says here that it's a slow men a steamy romance and meets a classic fantasy world building in blood grace follow fated mates cassia and leo through their epic love story for a guaranteed series hey geo don't know what that means but i'm excited nonetheless can't wait to read this just thank you so much vanessa honestly like yeah it's just so beautiful i'm so excited okay so this next one was another one that i impulse bought but i am still really excited for this is another fantasy romance i had some birthday no i had some christmas money i think i ordered these back in january and i didn't get them until like maybe march or something um but i got a bunch of fantasy romance books and i tried to get a lot of indie ones so i ordered these into work at Waterstones and got them there so if you guys are looking to get them you can also get them there and they took a while to come in because a lot of them are print on demand 
brand so yeah anyways i got this one this is one of them this is called the witch collector by carissa or charissa weeks and yeah this is the book here i literally just got up a list of like really good fantasy romance by indie authors and just ordered a bunch of them to try out and this is one of them it doesn't have much art under the dust jacket it just kind of looks like this but i still really like it i swear indie authors just have the best like books like the quality and just like all the fan art they put in them as well like i just love them so much so it says here every harvest moon the witch collector rides into our valley and leads one of us to the home of the immortal frost king to remain forever today is that day collecting day but he will not come for me i reign a blood good have lived in this village for 24 years and for 24 years he has passed me by his mistake reina bloodgood has one desire kill the frost king and the witch collector who stole her sister on collecting day she means to exact a murderous revenge but a more sinister threat sets fire to her world rising from the ashes is the collector the man she vowed to slay and the only person who can help save her sister thrust into an age-old story of ice fire and ancient gods reina must abandon vengeance and aid the witch collector or let their empire and her sister fall into enemy hands but the lines between good and evil blur and and Raina has more to lose than she imagined. What is she to do when the witch collector is no longer the villain who stole her sister, but the hero who's stealing her heart? Just yes, please. Just yes, please. It sounds so good. A kind of enemy to Laura's story. It has like a witchy vibe and it just sounds so good. I'm so excited for this. So if you have read this, please do let me know your thoughts. But again, I just love indie books. Like they are just so beautiful okay so next we have this one i randomly came across this on goodreads and i don't think i've ever seen or heard anybody talk about this book and that is these stained glass hearts by sienna c jones this book is unbelievably beautiful like for one it has freaking moon phases on the cover and this hair is just absolutely beautiful and then under the dust jacket it has this cool design as well with the moon i just love it so much now i can't remember the full synopsis for this so i'll see if there's like a brief one on the back so apparently our main character is the only female curse holder in all of the realms she's marrying someone because she has to try and save a kingdom something like that i think she's like planning to kill him there or something i don't know i can't remember the plot but i mean I don't think I need to when a book's this stunning. Um, I just remember reading the plot on Goodreads and I was like, I need that in my life and I ordered it. So I can't remember the plot now and I don't want to have to read all of this out. Um, but yeah, it's a fantasy romance. Let's just say that. And I'm really excited about it. Okay, next we have Kingdom of Flame and Fury and this one is by Whitney Dean. This is the Four Kingdom series and this is the first book in that series. And this one is another indie published one. It has super cool art under the dust jacket. It has a quote, which looks like this. And this is the first book in a steamy and thrilling new fantasy series. So in this we're following Raven who was mysteriously willed to become the ruler of this kingdom. She's been orphaned since birth and she spent 15 years ruling over a kingdom. And she has a secret. She possesses dark magic and has a thirst for blood and nobody knows. And it says here, now we're almost 25 years old and with a sudden addiction to stealing life, Raven must fight through her new procured darkness to save her soul. But when a mysterious stranger arrives in her kingdom, she starts experiencing vivid dreams that detail who she truly is. As she slowly starts to unravel her story, what she uncovers at the end of the spool will change the course of her life and her kingdom forever. This sounds so good, honestly. I'm so excited about it. I just love fantasy books so much and this sounds amazing. Really excited because I think this is like a morally grey character. So I really love those and I'm just really, really excited to see what this book is about and yeah hopefully i love this okay and then we have the unmarked witch by miranda lynn this is another one that was on my fantasy romance list so i decided to get it and this one is also super beautiful underneath like look at this design so here it says all raven wants is peace but in a magical realm a plagued by deception the only thing her world knows is turmoil the Unmarked Witch is the first Griffin book in the seductive and intriguing duology Unmarked. So yeah, this is a witchy fantasy romance. It's the only reason I bought it. I can't even remember the synopsis, but I do like to go into a lot of my fantasy books not knowing too much and just knowing like what the tropes are. I don't know why, I just find them so much more enjoyable that way, like not knowing what I'm getting myself into, being thrown into the world building. I just really enjoy that personally. And I'm really excited for this one because like I said, it's to do with witches and we have like warring kingdoms, we have a dark 
king and it just sounds really really interesting so yeah i'm very excited to give this one a read and i did have very very good reviews on goodreads so next we have the adventures of amina al Sarafi, and this is by shannon chakaborty and this is the fairy loot exclusive edition this is so unbelievably beautiful i love the gold foiling on this book and like look at the sprayed edges um and then inside it has one of the most stunning maps i've ever seen in a fantasy book like look at this it's absolutely gorgeous um and then under the dust jacket as well like look at the level of detail on this book guys absolutely ridiculous so i believe this follows a pirate and i think the main character is actually a mother and i've never read a fantasy book where the main character is a mother so i think that's like a really fun and will be like a really really interesting read because i've never read a fantasy book like that before and it also has supernatural creatures so a mix of pirates supernatural creatures and a badass mother yeah, I think this is going to be amazing. I'm so excited and I just love Fairy Loot's edition. Like, it's honestly just so beautiful. I cannot go over it. The gold foiling, absolutely insane. Okay, so next we have another book box one. I think this is from Illuma Crate. I cannot remember for life what this is about, um, but I did receive this in a book box and that is City of Nightmares by Rebecca Schaefer. So this is what the cover looks like. At least I think this was Illuma Crate. It could have been Fairy Loot. Okay, it was Fairy Loot. Um, but yeah, anyways this is really really pretty it has these sprayed edges it has really cool end pages inside as well and we have this cool design on the dust jacket and some kind of weird dinosaur on the back so i'm definitely intrigued by the dinosaur ever since her sister became a man-eating spider so i think the main character ends up in some kind of like weird cult or something and has to prove herself to the organization and then it blows up in her face and we have like creatures of nightmares and stuff in here and people turning into spiders apparently um yeah so this just sounds really really wild it sounds like a fever dream and i'm here for it i'm excited i want to know what it's all about um so yeah this sounds unlike anything i've ever read before so i'm definitely excited for it and i do love this edition then next we have a sequel which is cursed by marissa maya this is the fairly exclusive edition i still haven't read the first one but I decided to pre-order this apparently to go with the first one that I got from Fairy Loot so that I had like a matching set if I decided that I wanted to read this and really liked it. Um, so this has silver sprayed edges and it looks like this which is just a gorgeous edition and the end pages as well. I just really like those. So this is also signed. I've never read anything by this author before and I believe this is a YA like a fantasy romance. I honestly don't remember the plot for this book but this was just a pre-order and it is a sequel so anyway um that is this book okay so next we have this one which is a non-fiction this is the chinese myths a guide to the gods and legends so i got this for myself for my birthday because i love anything to do with mythology and i really wanted to read more about chinese mythology in particular because i just don't know a lot about it and it definitely does intrigue me and i just really really like the look of this book like i liked the way it was laid out inside and it also has like images in and things and lots of different legends and i just thought it would be a really interesting read just to flick through every so often and yeah i really like mythology so i just randomly got myself it <laughs> okay so next we have another sequel which is venom dark and sweet this is a signed exclusive copy as well that i picked up at work i do have the first one which i haven't read yet but i know it is centered around tea making and it is also a fantasy that's all i know about it and that intrigued me instantly it sounded really really good and i know that it was also inspired by chinese mythology as well so again i love books inspired by mythology and i just don't think i've read enough chinese mythology inspired books so i definitely read more so i did pick up the sequel because i do plan to read both the first one obviously and this one so yeah and also just the covers of these books are truly some of the most beautiful covers i've ever seen and i'm really really excited because i've heard so many good things about these books and i think i will really really like them oh and it is a also signed i don't know if i said that okay, so this next one was a gift and this is also for one of my incredible patrons melissa so thank you so much melissa for this beautiful book and this is broken bonds by jay Bree. i'm so excited for this book guys i have seen this so many times on like instagram tiktok and people saying like how amazing it is melissa was saying how amazing it was and i just really want to read it this is like a i think reverse harem and i think we have this one girl and i think it's like five guys she's like bonded with or something or mated with i don't even know um but it's something along those lines and i've just seen so many like tiktoks and like things like that with like random quotes or scenes 
and it just sounded so good so yeah i think it's like reverse harem romance and everyone is just obsessed with this series and talks about it all the time and i had it on my wish list because i really wanted to see what the fuss is about so thank you so much melissa for gifting me this book i'm so excited to read it and i definitely plan to read all of these as soon because i've heard that once you read the first one you just have to fly through all of them people have told me that because i like zodiac academy i would like these books so i'm really really excited to read them and see what i think of them so thank you so much melissa and yeah i'm really really happy that i finally own this book we have this arc that i received um so this is by katie roberts and this is radiant sin this is a greek mythology inspired smutty fantasy romance between apollo and cassandra and yeah that's all i need to know because i love fantasy romance especially mythology inspired i haven't read any books in this series so i believe this is like part of like the kind of like series that neon gods is in so the dark olympus series so i have neon gods i have this one and i have one more and again i would like to try and read these all like back to back maybe do a reading vlog on them i've heard so many good things about this series and about katie roberts like romance writing in general so yeah i'm very very excited to give this one a read this is already out i think it came out in february um so yeah hopefully i do get to this one quite soon then we have this really really random proof i was sent um and i still don't know much about it it's not really my kind of genre it's called the housekeepers by alex hay and this is what it looks like this comes out in july this year i believe it's kind of like a thriller vibe and it has a similar vibe to the maid set in mayfair in 1905 and i think like it's set in this really grand rich house and they've just dismissed their housekeeper and then i'm assuming she tries to get like revenge or something like that it's something along those lines on the back it says imagine oceans eight had an illegitimate baby with fingersmith a big fat diamond of a book that's the quote on the back um so yeah it's not my usual read but i think it is like kind of a thriller mystery-esque story and it definitely does sound interesting so yeah i was randomly sent this and it does come out in july if you are interested okay i'd say we're about a third of the way through now so next we have this aluma crate book i think this is from the afterlight subscription but i could be wrong and this is called for her consideration by amy spaulding and this is such a full little hardback so this is what it looks like it has these really cool palm tree sprayed edges and under the dust jacket it has this stunning art i love this so much it's so cute so we have in this one ari and we also have nina and i think one of them's a writer and one of them's a famous actress and they somehow end up kind of thrown together and i think a romance ensues between them it sounds really cute it's set in hollywood i'm sure it'll be really fun um so yeah this was in an Illumicrate subscription box i just don't remember which one okay so next we have another proof which comes out on the 1st of june and this is the shanghai immortal by ay cho and this one i am really excited for i haven't actually heard many people talk about this book but again this one's another one inspired by mythology and i just think this cover is absolutely beautiful i love it so much so i'll read what it says on the back here so it says with a title like lady jing of mount kunlun an ancestry that includes the great goddess queen mother of the west you'd expect me to be beautiful all her tatas and ass held together with lashings of poise and dignity well i'll disabuse you of that notion right now so yeah this sounds so fun um we basically have an adult fantasy novel which is inspired by chinese mythology set in the jazz age of shanghai which again it just sounds incredible not only that we also have hot vampire hot fox spirit all trouble a mix between fox spirit and vampire i'm sorry i need to read this book this sounds so good it sounds really really different to a lot of fantasy books and i love that it's inspired by mythology and that it's going to have these really cool supernatural creatures i cannot wait to read this and i'm so happy that the publisher sent me a copy so thank you so much to the publisher for this amazing proof okay so next we have a clash of three courts by chloe c of peneranda and my wonderful patron allison is very very kindly sent me this for my birthday this is part of the an air comes to rise series so i own the first two or three books in this series and i've been waiting until i own them all and it's a finished series to read them this has been compared to throat of glass so i instantly had it on my radar when i heard that and i cannot wait to read it someone i follow on instagram and recently started reading this series and has been literally obsessing over it and it's made me want to read it even more so i'm so excited that i have this book to add 
to my collection and this is a stunning cover these books all have such beautiful covers like i love them and they all have cool art under the dust jacket as well it's a fantasy kind of romance series it's new adult it's supposed to be amazing and yeah it gives stone of glass vibes basically so thank you so much allison for sending me this i cannot wait to put this on my shelf with all of the other books in this series like she's gonna look so pretty on there so next we have another proof i was sent which is the pomegranate gate and this is by ariel kaplan and this is such a gorgeous proof as well like look how beautiful this is so this comes out in july this year and this one says it's a lyrical jewish fairy tale in a mythical 15th century spain for fans of naomi novik and shannon chakaboti so i haven't actually read anything by either of those authors yet but this does sound very very intriguing and i've seen a few reviews already online floating around saying this has stunning writing and i'm so excited about it and it says here with a single step toba enters an ancient world that mirrors her own there she finds that her fate and naphtali's are bound to an ancient conflict threatening to destroy both realms so that sounds so cool i'm so excited so thank you so much to the publisher for sending me a proof of this book again this comes out in july as well then next we have this book which I'm so excited for this. So I read the first book to this, which is Not Your Average Hot Guy, last year. It was in my top 10 of the year. I love that book so much. It was a fantasy romance between the Prince of Hell. Was he the Prince of Hell? I think he was the Prince of Hell. Yeah, he's a Prince of Hell. He's Lucifer's son. And this guy who ran like this occult escape room thing and, and gets swept up in this like weird cult demonic thing but then there's like angels as well there's romance there's banter it's so freaking good i loved it so much and this is the sequel and the lovely jade one of my amazing patrons very kindly got me this and i cannot wait to read it i am so excited this is the sequel so obviously i'm not going to go into what this one is about um this is the date from hell but yeah go and read the first book because it is so good i loved it so much and i'm so excited to read this one and find out what happens with this couple because the way the first one ends is just so interesting and yeah okay so next we have another one i received in a book box this is the fair edition of seven faces saints by mk alob this i don't really like the cover i'm not gonna lie but the sprayed edges i do love these are so cool like look at those sprayed edges so amazing and this here if any of you have read solo leveling this reminds me of like the big spooky dude in the first volume like that's what this reminds me of but yeah this like is what intrigues me most like there's obviously gonna be a romance in here and look how stunning that is so yeah i think there's like some like murder mystery in here mixed with fantasy and romance and i love those three things like they are the like best combination of things in a book for me so i'm really excited about this one i actually cannot remember the premise of it but because it has murder mystery in it i don't want to know i don't want to read any more about what this is about because i feel like i will spoil it for myself i just want to go into this not knowing anything see where the story takes me and this murder mystery if i go in knowing as little information as possible i'm less likely to guess anything so yeah very excited about this one i'm not gonna lie i wasn't at first and had no interest in reading this but after receiving this in the fairy loot box, I definitely want to. And it does sound so good. And this edition, I just really, really like it. Oh, and it also has this under the jacket, which is kind of cool. Okay, so these next ones, I'm not really going to go into what they're about because I've hauled these in a previous video before. These are just like fairy loot editions. This is a fantasy romance series and this is the first three books. So you have Guild, Glint and Gleam. These are the fairly exclusive editions of those books. And they all have this like a black kind of design so they're all literally like pretty much the same um and then they have these sprayed edges that look like this which are really really cool and then they are all also signed by the author they all have like cool end pages there's a letter from the author as well i don't know if i said but this is by raven kennedy that's all i'm going to show you because there's just no point like they're all the same pretty much and the art underneath is all kind of the same just like a different thing in the middle okay so my camera died and this battery doesn't have a lot of battery so i need to hurry this up um so hopefully i didn't get caught off in the last clip but let's quickly move on so the next book i have is the secret society of regular witches by sangu mandana and this is the fairly exclusive edition of this book so i have held this book in the past this one has purple like ombre ish sprayed edges it also has art under the dust jacket which i love this is so me the books the witch hat and the mug of tea yes and um, this is a cozy witchy romance and it is also signed as well um and i believe basically the main character goes to i think teach these kids magic and there's some grumpy i think 
guy who's like a librarian or something and I think they end up falling in love that's kind of the gist of it so it's a cozy witchy romance I'm very excited to read this in the autumn time I've been saving it for then and this fairly exclusive edition is just so beautiful I'm so happy to have this so next we have a signed edition of Atalanta by Jennifer Saint so this one I pre-ordered and this is a mesmerizing story of the only female Argonaut told by Jennifer Saint the best-selling author of Electra and Ariadne and this one has these gorgeous and pages um and i love the spine for this one look how beautiful that is with the gold well it's not gold it's orange but you know what i mean it's gorgeous yeah this is a stunning edition and yeah like i said it is signed so i did pre-order this one and yeah it's just another greek mythology retelling as if i didn't need more of those speaking of which we have another which is perfect for fans of song of achilles apparently and i love the song of achilles which is lies we sing to the sea by sarah underwood i believe this is a sapphic retelling the end pages in this are stunning look at the gold detailing and then underneath we have this design which is just like so so pretty like the back as well i just love it um and then of course the sprayed edges as well like just so beautiful on the back it says hair life to appease a god his life to save a kingdom hair lies to destroy them all so yeah this is the illuminate exclusive edition i don't know if i said that but it's so pretty like look at this cover as well so yeah this is supposed to be perfect for fans of madeline miller so very very excited about this one i really hope that i do like it when i get to it okay i really am getting through these as quick as i can because i don't want my battery to die and i want to get this film tonight um, so i'm really sorry if i'm rushing next we have the penguin classics edition of alice in wonderland by lewis carroll so i do own various editions of alice in wonderland because i love the movie growing up but i've never actually read the book and i really want to i watched bella read this in a video and it made me want to read it so i decided to pick it up and yeah i do plan to give this a read i don't really read a lot of classics but i figured this would be a good one to go with because i know the story i'm familiar with the story i'm pretty sure i would actually enjoy reading this one so i did go ahead and pick this one up and the reason i got this edition is because it has illustrations in which are just so beautiful yeah i'm very very excited to one day read this because i do want to try and read some classics and this is definitely one of them i feel like this will be really accessible and i'm very excited about it okay so this next one i was recommended in the comments section um a while ago and i got books one and two so i have wolf gone wild and don't hex and drive by juliet cross so these are supposed to be fantasy rom-coms and they're like supernatural paranormal vibes so like this one has witches in and this one has werewolves and i think there's a few more in this series so many people in my comments were saying how good this series was so i did decide to go and pick these ones up and i'm really excited to read them because of how much praise you guys were singing for them so i'm really really excited to give them a go i love witchy romances i love the xx and people have said it's kind of similar and i love anything with that sort of feeling to them so i'm really really excited to read these and i'm definitely gonna save them i think for spooky season um but yeah i also really love the covers as well so i think it'll be really fun to maybe do like a vlog series or like one vlog reading all the books um in this series so yeah i'm very very excited these are these stay a spell books by the way if i didn't say that okay and then we have this proof of charming by jade linwood this comes out in july and guys the way that this book is marketed <laughs> it was marketed as shrek meets um john tucker must die what a combination what a combination that is john tucker must die is an iconic film shrek also iconic like an absolute icon so yeah this has been pitched as those two which is just like blows my mind that those two are even in the same sentence this one says he'll pick your pocket while he's stealing your heart it's time to take revenge so it's a fantasy romance i think and it says for all those princesses who realize they could rescue themselves so maybe it's not a fantasy romance i don't know but it sounds really interesting and yeah the fact that this is shrek and john tucker was that it's just so funny to me and i'm just so excited about it okay so if you watched some of my recent vlogs you will know that i started reading haunting adeline and i went ahead and bought hunting adeline because of course i do want to read this one once i finish that so this is a very 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 dark romance by hg carlton if you can't handle dark romance do not pick this series up and if you do like dark romance and we're debating picking this series up make sure you check the trigger warnings there are so many trigger warnings for this series i'm only halfway through the first book and oh my god i had to take a break and this one i already know what happens in it this one is horrendously dark like extremely dark and i know that this is just like 
yeah i'm gonna have to like probably take a break when i read this one as well but i do want to read it weirdly enough and i don't know why that is but for some reason i couldn't stop reading haunting adeline until i couldn't anymore and i did have to take a break but i was just really really enjoying it which feels really bad to say because it is a dark romance just enjoy what you want to enjoy okay um anyways yeah check the trigger warnings if you were debating reading this like seriously do not go into this without fully understanding the repercussions like make sure you check the trigger warnings um but i did pick up the second book because i do plan to read this soon so yeah that's all i'm gonna say about it um i'm not gonna go into what this is about because it's very dark but i am planning to get into my zodiac academy area again however I decided to pick up this series because I think there is only four books in this series or maybe there is a fifth one or, or more I don't know but I got the first four anyway which is these books here so we have Dark Fate, Savage Fate, Vicious Fate and Broken Fate these are by Caroline Packham and Susan Valenti I love the Zodiac Academy series that I've read so far I have not completed it I've only read four I think of the books so far but I do own them all and I do plan to read them but some of those are very big and guys those books just really put me through it emotionally I needed a break from them so I'm definitely going to come back to that series some point this year and in the meantime I might read this because this is like in the same world and kind of like related to them but like not but this one I think has a murder mystery in it as well as the fancy element I think our main character's brother was murdered so she attends the school to try and figure out who the murderers are but then we have like the as I think of like another school or like the top guys of another school um and she suspected them but I also think this is reverse harem as well another school set in the same world as Zodiac Academy like Solaria but yeah and we follow her trying to figure out like who killed her brother I think is the premise but i did decide to get these with some birthday money because i've been wanting them for a while and i really love these authors writing they just suck you straight into the story and they're so easy to read and i definitely do want to read this series either before zero academy or after it i don't really care which way um but i did decide to go and get them i just hate the covers like yeah like reading these in public uh, i don't think so yeah i do still really really like them and i'm very excited to read them but these are heavy so i'm gonna put them down yeah anyways i did finally get my hands on these and i'm just so excited to put them next to my zodiac academy books okay so next we have a proof of unfortunately yours by tessa bailey um so yeah this is another romance from tessa bailey it's also signed as well which is really cool so this one is a follow-up to secretly yours which i actually haven't finished reading yet so i really need to but i'm very excited to read that one because i do enjoy tessa bailey's books we have a love and hate relationship her self-published books i'm not a big fan of they always turn out to be not my favorite i'm looking at you my killer vacation i really don't like you but yeah i'm gonna read secretly yours soon because i did start it and i was enjoying it but i just wasn't really in the mood for romance but i'm starting to really get into my romance books again so as soon as i do read secretly yours i will definitely be reading this this comes out in june so i really need to get on that because it comes out next month we do have the follow-up i think this is like what tess bears most of her books like the first book will have other characters in and then like the next books will follow them characters i'm pretty sure that's what this is doing but obviously i haven't read the first one so i'm not sure um but yeah this is a sequel anyways so i do have this so thank you to the publisher for this proof so we then have this one which is another fantasy romance novella this is by katie roberts and this one is a monster romance so i've read one of these i think there's three of them there's the dragon one there's this one and the one with the guy with the horns but i can't remember what that one's called i've read the one with the horns and it was okay i mean it wasn't necessarily my thing but i also liked it and it did have good representation in there and it was just like a fun short fantasy romance story and that's what i enjoyed was the short story part so if these were like long books i would not like them but the short like story i just like it um so i did decide to get the other two i also have the dragon one but i don't know where it is it's somewhere maybe i've already hauled it in another video i don't know but then i got this one which is the kraken's sacrifice so yeah these are just like fancy romance um little short stories and like novellas and yeah that's pretty much it and there's more in there so deal with that information what you will okay and then we actually do have two other hg carlton books so two more dark romances so this one is satan's affair and this i think is kind of set after um the cat and mouse duology which is the haunted now design books i think it's like it's like a big scary thing that comes around halloween i think or something like that anyway and then i assume this is a story set there i don't know but i got it anyway because like i said i'm reading 
Haunting Adeline and I want to read her other books. So I got this one. It's a dark romance. And then I got this one. <laughs> Does it hurt? By H.G. Carlton. So yeah. All I know is I think this girl's like something to do with a lighthouse and a lighthouse keeper. And he's really horrible to her or something. But, but now she's in this lighthouse with this man. And yeah. That's kind of all I know. It's something to do with a lighthouse. It's a dark romance. So again, do check trigger warnings for both of these. Very dark to be romances. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then we have another dark romance. And the reason I picked this up is because it's recommended for fans of Haunting Adeline. And it was all over my Book Talk For You page thing. And then I saw it in the bookstore and I was like, well, if it's there, I may as well. So this is God of Malice by Rena Kent. This is um, book one in the Legacy of God series. Also, I know this is a super dark romance. Again, it says on the back, I caught the attention of a monster. I didn't ask for it, didn't even see it coming, but the moment I do, it's too late. Killian Carson is a predator wrapped in sophisticated charm. He's cold-blooded, manipulative, and savage. The worst part is that no one sees his devil side. I do, and that will cost me everything. I run with the thing about monsters they always chase. So yeah, dark romance. Don't really know much else about it, except for it was recommended for fans of Haunting Adeline. So yeah, and Rena Kent is supposed to be a very good dark romance author. So I haven't read a lot of dark romance, so I can't really speak on that. And obviously I've never read one of Rena Kent's books, but yeah, this was recommended to me. So I have decided to pick it up and I will give it a go once I finish Haunting Adeline. Well, the cat and mouse duology thing. Then we have a book that I'm extremely, extremely, extremely excited for. And this is a novella. And I'm just so happy that I own this physically. And that is this one. Six Squashed Roses, and this is a Crowns of Nyaxia novella by Carissa Broadbent. So if you've watched some of my vlogs, you will know that I love The Serpent in the Wings of Night. It's my favourite fantasy romance book I've read this year. So far, it was amazing. Loved it so much. It's vampires and fantasy romance. It's The Hunger Games it meets From Blood and Ash. It's amazing. Go and read it. Honestly, you will not regret it. So freaking good. The second book just came out. I do have it on order. It just hasn't arrived yet because it's a print on demand because um, I've ordered it at work. But the novella came. So I have this gorgeous hardcover. I already have this on my Kindle also. Just love that. But I haven't actually read it yet. I'm waiting until I have the second book because I want to read this and then dive into that one. Um, but I did get myself the hardback of it and i'm so excited for this on my shelf so again this is a novella set in the same world i don't think it does follow our characters from that but like characters that exist i think so follow someone called lilith so anyway yeah we have the novella okay next we have this one i got in a fairy loot box which is silver in the bone by alexandra bracken this one is so pretty i love the sprayed edges and um, there is a mark on my sprayed edges so fairy loot are very kindly sending me a replacement copy um but yeah these are the sprayed edges it's so gorgeous and it has really cool character art and it has this under the jacket, which is so freaking cute. And it says here, driven by love, revenge, and pure adrenaline. And this is the stunning new novel from one of the top fantasy authors writing today. So Alexandra Bracken wrote Law and the Darkest Mind series as well. So I can't remember what this is about, but it is just a fantasy, I think YA romance kind of thing. It's full of action and stuff as well. So yeah, it does sound really, really fun. And I love this. Then we have another fairy loot edition i think which is from the adult box and this is fox called king by hannah Witten. this is another gorgeous edition this is a fantasy romance with stunning spring edges it also has some gorgeous character art and this incredible art under the dust jacket which i'm obsessed with and a reversible dust jacket which i definitely prefer so i <laughs> i haven't fully read anything by this author before i tried to read for the wolf and I still have not finished that book like nearly three years later. I just haven't. I'm going to finish it one day. I am determined to. Um, but I didn't love it. It wasn't my favourite. So I kind of softy enough it. But yeah, I can't remember what this is about. And I don't really want to know what this is about. I think for me when I go into this one, I am going to go into it not really knowing much. Because I don't want to like kind of know the synopsis and then get like a specific impression of it which might alter my enjoyment of the book because i want to give this author another chance so yeah i have i think already talked about this in a video though where i did say what it was about or read the synopsis but i've forgotten it so <laughs> i'm not going to remind myself then we have the jewel of the vampire Love by elise cova which is actually my patreon buddy read which i haven't started reading yet 
the lovely Claire, another one of my amazing patrons, got me this for my birthday. This is part of the Married to Magic like series. So they're all standalones, but they're like set in the same world. I've read one of these, which is Deal with the Elf King, and I really enjoyed it. It was a very fun, fast paced, fancy romance, a really quick read. It's a good like Kindle Unlimited book. But this one I'm so excited for because it's a, a vampire one. These all have like the kind of what's the trope called what's it called like arranged marriage like that kind of thing you know where they kind of end up having to marry each other that's the main trope um but it says here a darkly reimagined snow white meets inspiration from beauty and the beast in an epic fantasy world of hunters vampires and casters that run deeper than blood this standalone is complete with a happily ever after ending it's perfect for fantasy romance fans looking for just the right amount of steam and their next slow burn and smooth worthy enemies to lovers story so yeah enemies to lovers as well vampires yes just yes um, and i also love the cover so thank you so much claire for this amazing book and i'm very excited to read it and then and lastly we have this book which is my current read this one is binding 13 by chloe walsh now i really got this on a whim guys like i just started seeing this all over my bookstagram page and then all over book talk and i was like what is this book everyone is talking about what is it and i didn't really know i didn't really look into what it was about i just saw the reviews i didn't even look at the synopsis which i know is really bad i just heard all these reviews and i know my friend m from perfect paperbacks had read this and I vaguely remembered her gushing over it, but I was like, I don't know for sure if it was that book. But I went ahead and ordered it anyway, because the way people were talking about this on TikTok and just like reviews on Bookstagram, I was like, this book must be amazing. Like it must be for people to talk about it the way they are. I need to find out for myself. So I did buy it. And I've since spoken to Em. She confirmed that she does indeed love this book and it's one of her favorite books she said it's amazing and i did a story on instagram and a few other people replied so i know hannah also replied saying she'd read it and it was really good so this is a romance and it is set in ireland and i believe i think this was written or set in 2005 so it does have some very outdated things in it apparently i have not read them all yet but apparently there's some very outdated things in here so we shall see i am reading it and i'm only 90 pages in like this is a big book this is like over 600 pages the font is absolutely minuscule and it's a big size paperback so it's going to take me some time but i mean i only just started this and i've read 90 pages i'm really enjoying it so far it's basically about this girl who got bullied horrendously all through primary school and high school she finally transfers to like a new school which is like this kind of private school and on her first day she kind of ends up um meeting the kind of star of the show the rugby captain the guy that every girl wants to be with the guy that every guy wishes they were like you know that kind of thing and yeah i think a romance ensues between them but there's a lot more to it than that it has a very emotional story very dark themes in here and other things so i'm really really intrigued to see where it's going to go like i said i don't know the full premise i'm kind of just vibing and see where it takes me but so far i am actually really really enjoying it i really like the writing style it's very easy to read um i do feel at times there's some info kind of dumped in there that i don't really need to know in that much detail but i guess the point of this book is to really build up backstory and make you feel like you know the characters which is definitely doing it also has a glossary at the front for some of the irish terms that are in here that i'm not familiar with which is really helpful but yeah i did decide to buy this i'm currently reading it i am filming a reading vlog at the moment where i'm reading this book so you will hear my thoughts in that vlog if you keep an eye out for it okay hi guys i forgot to include some books when i filmed the video and i didn't realize until last night when i was like packing all the books i'd hauled away i realized i forgot about these ones so i'm quickly here to just quickly tell you about them so the first one we have is lynn peters a love wager this one i was sent by the publisher and i actually don't know a lot about it all i know is it's another rom-com and i read lynn peters better than the movies which is a ya book and i loved it it was such a fun light fluffy romance i adored it and as soon as i heard about this book i was just so excited because i just really liked her writing um so i don't actually know a lot about this one i know that this one is adult fiction so it's a friends to lovers romance apparently and that's all i know really excited about it because like i said i just love lynn peters writing so i definitely can't wait to read this one then we have idol burning by rin usami so this one i actually bought because my friend kat recommended it in a video i will link her channel down below but yeah she mentioned it in a video and basically this is kind of like a social commentary on kind of like attacking culture so kind of like parasocial relationships relationships with like idols and like different things and it actually follows a high school student 
and it says here offering a vivid insight into otaku culture and adolescence adult burning is a gripping story of obsession coming of age and the addictive relentless nature of fandom culture so yeah i'm definitely interested in this one especially because i am a k-pop fan as well and like you just see it with various like kind of celebrities and their fan base some of it can be very parasocial some of it can be very intense and obsessive um, so I think this will be like a really really interesting read and I'm definitely looking forward to reading it Then next I got sent this proof which I unboxed in a recent vlog which is Bad Men by Julie May Cohen So this one I don't know a lot about but I think it is a thriller and it doesn't have like a synopsis on it So I'm not actually sure but yeah, it just says in the back my name is Sefi Hunter Oliver and I kill bad men So it's a debut thriller and yeah that's pretty much all i know about it but this is a gorgeous proof like look how big and floppy it is um so yeah i was sent this it comes out it says summer 2023 so keep an eye out for this um but yeah i will send this <laughs> then next another book i was very kindly sent was the book proposal by kj mick Kichi. I'm gonna say that's how it's pronounced but I could be wrong. This comes out on May 16th so by the time this video goes up it will either already be out or just about to come out. This is a bookish romance and you all know I love my bookish rom-coms. They're my favourite. And she gets drunk after a bad breakup I think and she ends up emailing her unrequited crush from high school i think they form a friendship but then it starts to turn into something more but then I think she is a writer and she starts writing about something to do with him so it's kind of like you shouldn't really do that um and is this gonna like you know stop their relationship from progressing kind of thing in the back desperately seeking fictional hero for happily ever after so yeah very excited about this because i love books that are about books especially romance ones and this just sounds really really cute pulling stickers off books is literally the bane of my existence as a bookseller next we have two wrongs make a right by chloe louise and i bought this because i just this christmas novel which was i think it was under the mistletoe or something or mistletoe kiss i can't remember but i read it last year in a vlog and i loved it it was so good so i really wanted to try this one when it was coming out and i'm really excited i can't remember a lot about it um it just says here opposites become allies to fool their matchmaking friends in the swoony reimagining of shakespeare's beloved comedy much ado about nothing so yeah don't really know anything about it don't need to because i just really like this author's writing and that's the only reason i picked it up and it's obviously a romance so very very excited about this one to give it a read and yeah i love the cover as well but yeah that is all of the books that i missed off so i'm gonna go now goodbye <laughs> Um, but that does conclude my book haul. I think this is the quickest I've ever filmed a book haul in my entire life. So if I have rushed through some books, I am really, really sorry if I didn't give them justice or tell you guys enough info about them. But one, my camera is going to die again. Two, I'm very hungry when I'm filming this and I've been working all day, so I really want to go and eat. Three, the daylight has gone. I just don't have the energy to really go in depth into all of these books. And to be honest, some of them I think you guys will be familiar with. And yeah, you can always just Google them and look them up on Goodreads. I'm here to showcase the books. That, that was the point and you guys can go and look at them in more detail if you want to hopefully i have done them some form of justice and maybe made you want to look into them or read them if that is the case and there's any books you're now going to go and read because of this video please let me know in the comments i love hearing from you guys if you picked up a book because of me or you're thinking about it I would love to know. Thank you to all the publishers who sent me early copies. Thank you to my wonderful, wonderful patrons who gifted me such stunning books for my birthday. It is so appreciated and I feel so lucky. And I just generally do feel lucky that I am able to even film book hauls, to have these books and to receive them. I know I'm very, very lucky. And yeah, it makes me so happy to get books and buy books. Like, yeah, it's one of the few things in life that bring me joy and comfort. So when you find something that does that for you, you do it and I do it all the time. I love spending money on books. I love it. I don't care. I'm not ashamed of it. I love buying books and it's good to buy books, support the publishing industry and it makes me happy. So yes, that's my little disclaimer for the people out there who hate hauls. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if there's any books you have recently hauled, any books you'd recommend me, any of these books you've read and really, really liked, or even if you didn't like them, let me know in the comments and let's chat. I will try to link any of like the arcs or anything like that down below. Um, and like all my other links that you may need will be in the description box. So I have a vintage where I do sell books that I own haul on. I have my bookstagram link down below where I post obviously about books and I do reels. Um, my TikTok will be listed down below even though I don't really post on TikTok but I'm hoping to change that soon. 
I also will have my Patreon link down below. There's like extra videos on there. There's even book hauls on there. We do a monthly readathon, a monthly buddy read. We have a Discord. We do live shows, lots of other things. It's all going on on Patreon. So if you are interested in extra content from me, you can head to that link in the description box. So leave a cat emoji in the comments if you made it to the end of this video because my cat just ran in and scared me. So let's leave a cat emoji in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. And that's pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I hope you're safe and well. I hope you're reading a lot of good books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Feel like falling deeper, cold nights